something's happening. Oh, there she is. Oh, please, am I, am I, am I, am I, am I, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Yeah. Hi, okay, Yasmin. Maxime. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. <laughs> That's right. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Whoa. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> yeah. That's scary. I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Ooh. I'm nervous. Um, you're in a good mood. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. Wow. The coffee Congrats. is just so so. <laughs> uh, since Sophie today? Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Will Gwen be fired? Sophie lost her book deal. Let's do Gwen first. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Sophie lost her book deal. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but... I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. Yeah. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Let's talk about Maya. <laughs> I'm just out of the blue. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. Yeah, it sounded like she she drowned herself. I think, maybe. I think Sophie's book was canceled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. What? Did Yasmin just lie to me? Um. Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and? See what narrative she's trying to spin. Oh. Well, I don't want her to be pissed. Go along with it. Uh, One person already hates course. me. Of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Um... I've heard conflicting opinions. Everyone seems to have a different opinion of Maya. It's hard to track what's true. I understand that Ms. Okada was a bit chaotic. So she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Vin? Shady cow skull throwing Vin? <laughs> what? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Okay. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Um, why me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to. Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you. Is that job time. now to keep her from dying? Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. Huh? <laughs> okay, everything that was is confusing me. odd. What did she mean by Ben's statement? 
Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. Yeah. Mosa, sorry to bug you, but I had a question about Vin Lang and my Okada. Okada? Sure, what's up? Um... Do you know if Vin put out a statement after Maya's death? I didn't see it at the time since I wasn't at Caledon yet, but Safi shared it with me once. Hang on. He said Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her to uh, get her the help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, it, it would have you know, we would have done more. Does that help? It does. Moses, you're a gem. Okay. Huh. What is it? Oh, it's just her. Hmm. Huh. He's probably in the admin building. Yeah. Can you message from Lucas? Who's Lucas? Oh, that guy. Um, if you're available, Max, I've acquired an extra ticket to, to the Burlington Expo. To clarify, this is strictly an invitation from a colleague. I have no interest in you outside of that. <laughs> I probably had to. Can't make it. I'm busy. Sorry I'm swamped at the moment. How about I bring you back a tote? Lucas must be Sure, really I guess. He deigns to be this nice to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, this is this reality. Okay. Amanda! Hey, sport. Are you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Hey, Amanda! Unforgivable! <laughs> oh, what a terrible mistake. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi, Amanda. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute! <laughs> Just going on a coffee run? Mm. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Yeah. I haven't tried it, but yeah. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. <laughs> I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? Why don't I trust her? I don't trust Maya. Let's just say it as it is. Maya Okada. I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? <laughs> it's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying no that. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to your something important. See you around, Tiger. Why Amanda. don't I trust Amanda? These games give me trust issues, I swear. There's always a twist the villain. Admin building. Okay, um... Do we have... Yeah, it's just that task, okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wow. These are... Uh... Extremely creepy. Sorry. <laughs> the art department really pushes for self-expression in every medium. I like that about Caledon. Create a mask that is specific not to your family or culture, but to you as an individual. Consider the, pa the parts of your face that will be covered and which will be left exposed. Ooh, that's cool. I wouldn't want to make one, but that's cool. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Vin about the statements. My finger hurts. I hope I don't lose my hand because of it. <laughs> I'm really paranoid. Oh, it's a guy! It's so cool! <laughs> oh, what's in here? A guy? Okay. Nothing important. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, the atmosphere is so good. A Tickets? crush on Lucas? Really? Things what? can't be that bad, can they? <laughs> Yum! <laughs> you! Oh, I've never understood the that on F. Oh, Caledon's Gorilla Girl strikes again. Keep fighting the good fight, kid. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, look at all these. 
I like it. It's creative. It's vandalism, but I like it. Oh! Looks like somebody had their last stand. Vin's phone. Damn. Vin's the most popular class on campus. You found a new hookup. Uh, friends scene sent you a new message. Aaron sent you a message. You found a new hookup. Coming over later. Need a release. Ray. Whoa! Oh! Juicy. Where? Where? Um. Vin, I wanted to talk to you. There. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes to me? <laughs> <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. <laughs> How long have you worked here? How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But <laughs> Kahuna needed me right away. Kahuna? <laughs> I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Ooh. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? <laughs> I like You're him. You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? <laughs> You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. Hmm. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Oh, speak the dead world diamond in the admin building. Okay. I was thinking we could use the Why favor. Why is Yasmin talking about you of all people, Finn? Okay, there's diamond. She's here. What the hell? Oh, no. Somebody abandoned their boy. Can I take it? Please, can you? Oh. I wanted it. Diamond's notebook. Ooh. Whoa. Diamond was working on a documentary about Moses. I wonder why she never went through with it. Ooh. That was not dirt on Vin. I'm sorry, Diamond. I didn't think this is what I'd find. Oh? Dear Moses, don't laugh, all right? I know what you think of therapy. The brain is unknowable and the soul is nothing. Your words, not mine. But this is an exercise, which means I shouldn't have to worry about you shredding my thesis. Funny, isn't it? Even when I'm writing something for my own emotional health in a letter that's only meant for me, I imagine your, your voice in the back of my head, always asking questions, always pushing me. So here, so here it is in all its messy glory. I have feelings for you. There, I said it. I knew I was falling for you on, on our first trip to Everett when you helped me find Orion, three bright stars, and you put your face close to mine. It was your first lecture. Your words are so warm on my neck. I didn't know about Tony then, or uh, about how much I'd want to be close to you after that. So yes, I have feelings for you, and yes, I struggle with them every day, but I have to move on. You've got your love. It's time I found mine some elsewhere. Even if I don't want to, even if it's hard to, even though you're the first person I've liked uh, that actually makes sense. I've had crushes before, big ones, and I've tried... Thing. But I never really understood what it was like to actually want that with someone until I met you. I don't know if I ever will again, or if anyone will ever love me if I decide I don't want to do that again. Ah. Am I really just supposed to give up, be alone forever? Love always, Diamond. Wow, yeah, that was really personal. Whoa. Hi, Diamond. Vin? Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up, can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please, 
I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Whoa. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Yep. Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's going to be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. <laughs> Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I have the right piece of dirt, I bet I can make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Ooh. God, I don't know what to say. Vin said Maya had me mental health problems. Vin's covering something for Yasna. I don't want yeah, this to go. Let's do this one. Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems. Which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is someone let Maya down. Really badly. Oh. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. Yeah. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. <laughs> Go forth and conquer! <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. Thank you, Diamond. Ooh. This man's not going to tell me anything. Ooh. Okay. Update. I thought I hit a wall in the Alderman mystery, but then I got a single ping for the name Alderman in the Lakeport area. There's a bizarre report from 40 or so years ago about a widow named Mrs. Marjorie Alderman. Could be in her late 60s now. I'm still reading through it and I'll reach out soon once I've made sense of it. I'm all ears. <laughs> Alright, let me know what you find out Would and be Alderman's careful. Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? Believe me, after what we saw up there, I will. Notes. Diamond. Diamond nodded that Vin's re Vin reacts if never Maya has mentioned. The question we both want to know is why. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Yep. We're now on the other side. <laughs> Whoa. A little laggy. Oh! Is it here? Talk to Vin in the admin building. Didn't I do that? Pulse in the living world to investigate the dead world of Vin. Okay, so I need to find Vin. In the dead world. A first... Wait. Here. Where? Ah, here! What's happening here? No, because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. You told people she had mental health issues, but that wasn't the whole story, was it? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. <laughs> to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. Hey, fine. You want to know what happened? Yes. After Maya died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you a job as her assistant. What? Why would anyone want to hear about what you had to say about Maya? 
Skyler, maybe because we were fucking friends? Whoa. Maybe one of Comanero's fiction classes and it clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you wanted a performance and now you're gonna kill her. Ooh. I grew up with not anybody, okay? Most kids at Taladon don't get what that's like. And I'm okay. stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes. Yes, you promised me a stable, respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I regretted it ever since. Whoa. I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's not gonna be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. Whoa! the head of a bracket? Like that? It doesn't feel very good in the end, does it? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class. And he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield. Which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Okay, this is so weird. Um. Oh, he looks so <laughs> composed. Let's hope what I've learned is enough to crack him. Yep. Hello, Dadin. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. <laughs> Probably not, but okay. <laughs> Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? <laughs> There is a reason. <laughs> I promise. Please, enlighten me. I'm trying to help someone. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. <sighs> Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. Thank you. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Vin, what really happened? Yeah, what happened, Vin? Who? Ask Lucas Colmanero. <gasps> it all started in his class. What? He has Maya's blood on his hands. What? You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... Okay. He pushed her? What? The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Whoa. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. Okay, okay. I Got guess I could it. reveal one of the other secrets I know. Oh, I don't want to use the favor yet. You and Safi worked together. You and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. It wasn't. I'm just really and nosy. I saw a photo on your phone. <laughs> Remind me not to underestimate you. Thank you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. What? It was you? So why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. Huh? So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And okay, this now I really do me. have to get back to work. But 
Caulfield. Yeah? Whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Of course. Ooh. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Probably not after this. Come on in. <laughs> I want to show you something. Really? Ooh, okay. Ooh, let's look around. Landscape painting. Ah, are you familiar with that Alcaria forests? They're all over southern Chile. Ooh, that's cool. It. They look beautiful, though. Yeah. Well, next time the wanderlust hits you. Signed I football? don't recognize the name. Oh, that. A fan sent it to me. He's quite famous, actually. Do you follow much football? No. Uh, not really. I hate it. I hate football. It sucks. Or soccer ball, whatever you want to call it. It's just... Ugh. Yeah, look at that! Aw, cute. It looked like the Pixar thing. My son gave that to me a few years ago. I just dug it out of storage. Looks like someone had a party foul. What? Oh, it's just coffee. Uh, I'm a little preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speak. What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. Hey, karate, or I think so. Ooh. This is actually a really cool shot. Whoa, I green belt? Doing okay. That's good. I was almost on orange belt in, in jiu-jitsu when I was a kid. A pin so fancy I'd be Run effect. To write with it. Looks like Lucas has been having some late nights. Yeah. A movie? Holy shit. What? I don't have to read the rest of the book. <laughs> Lucas, I got some great news for you. Olympus Mons uh, Pictures is interested in the film rights to Wilderbeast than these. I'll call you with more details and next steps, so keep an eye out. Underpaid author Wrangler Samuel. Hey, that's really good for him. Holy Restraining shit. order. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? <sighs> Should I have told Sophie about this? Order granting in part a temporary restraining order and setting date for a pre preliminary injunction hearing. This matter having come before the court of plaintiff Lucas Colmenero, motion for a temporary restraining order, preliminary and permanent injunction motion, and it's a verified complaint. Here are my fines and orders as following. One. Based on the effects uh, alleged in Lucas uh, Colmenero's verified complaints and emotion and supporting a uh, affidavit, Lucas uh, Colmenero has established the following uh, request elements for a temporary restraining order. What's that? It? It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so thank you. Yeah. Don't thank me, really. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. It was none of my business. Yeah. Shouldn't have been looking through your stuff in the first place. Yeah. But it's so I fun. I don't disagree. Huh? But oh. no harm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I'm sure that's so? not why you came to my office. Nope. How can I help you, Max? I'm making a lot of wrong choices. Can you help me with that? I'm just kidding. Um, movie deal? I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling, getting chosen for the big screen. About time, right? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Hmm. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. Okay. How's Robbie? 
How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, <laughs> but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. Ah, he's a green belt in Taekwondo. Hmm. Burlington Book Expo? Why aren't you at that Burlington Book event? The Book Expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. Wow. Let's talk about Maya. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? Everyone gets shut down immediately. You must know why. <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't really know much about her, but I heard she was your student. I'm just curious is all. What happened to Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid you'll have to wet your curiosity somewhere else. Ah! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What? Well, wrong button! <laughs> Well, that was a bust. Won't yeah. be able to snoop around in here either. Okay, we need to go to the dead, dead realm. Let's do that real quick. Whee! And let's snoop. Snoop, snoop, snoop. Is it in here? Yeah. This is it. Let's see what okay. is hiding. Enter. Ooh. All right. I have to talk to Lucas now. Where am I? <laughs> I'm confused. Whoa, whoa. What? Why are these? <gasps> oh! I understand, I understand. The crossing out was because he he has an alibi. It wasn't him that threw the cow skull and stuff. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. I like that. And Vin is not in the clear. Because... Then he actually I don't I don't know I don't know uh well okay um yeah that was it that was what I was gonna check um here talk to Vin find information about Maya yes yes okay was a little scared I missed something which Vin hmm. Probably what did you do to our Maya? Type. Ooh. Sebastian the Hedgehog. The hedgehog. <laughs> distant relative of the shrew enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just don't break it. I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Sophie bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. What relationship did they have? I know they slept together, but it's so weird. What? I don't like the looks of this guy. Too grim, reapy. Yeah. Draw your attention inwards and seek answers within. Any reflection is the key to enlightenment. The hermit. Is this? Changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing for both her and Vin. <laughs> How nice of you to finally return my phone call, Stefan. Whoa. Scan the email. Sophie was our only child. Can't you spare 15 minutes to discuss her funerary arrangement? That's weird. No. She didn't have a will. And though she died by... suicide... She didn't but she know. didn't. Died by 
Suicide? But I thought... It did sound like that when we last talked to her, that that's what her, she was thinking. I can't keep listening to this. That's so weird. I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Yeah. Okay, so this is his, not port portfolio, but CV, it's called. Looking for gigs out on the west coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. And um, there is Vin, isn't he here? Lucas is. Oh no! I love Somebody you. Abandoned their boy. Okay. Um. Let's go to the living world then. Then. Are we supposed to talk to me now? No, 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 no. We have already done that. But there is he. It's a bin we're supposed to talk to, right? Got the message. Okay, here there's a lot. Okay, so that article about Mama Alderman, it gets uh, wild, so bear with me. 40 plus years ago, she was admitted to Lakeport County days before her due date, with what she described as complications with her pregnancy. Only despite what she claimed, not only was there no baby, there, there was one. She and her late husband, she said, had planned to name their baby boy after his father Vincent. It's like these, there's hints of who Alderman was, or sh maybe should have been, but only hints. Wait, so he was literally... He was literally deleted from existence? What? Holy shit! So the guy was earlier today. And I thought my powers were a burden before. Shouldn't have been there at all, yeah. Whoa! That's so weird. Now, where is. It is Vin. Talk to Vin in the admin building. But where is he? Is he in here? What's that? Yeah, I, I read that. It was really personal. Where were you? I've been waiting for like 20 minutes. Ooh. Sorry. I overslept. Did you bring your weapon with you? I what? It in my dorm room. What? Are you serious? What if we see one of our assassins? And I'll. Okay, I'll this you. is probably a game. Back chance. If you're not going to pull your weight, you can take the consequences. What is going on with you? Don't you care about the five hundred dollars? I do. I do. It's just. Is this still about that dead girl? Oh my God. Have a little decorum. I feel bad. I liked Safi. She was my TA last year. What's TA? I'm sure she was rad, but all these canceled events. College students kill themselves all the time. Oh my god. But Alice. she didn't. I think you're being really insensitive. I'm being pragmatic. If we weren't allowed to play Assassins when someone died, there'd never be another game of Assassins ever again. The only reason we're all talking about this is because it was the president's daughter. It's elitist. I don't like it. I guess. My friend got killed by a drunk driver freshman year, and nobody postponed exams for her. Huh. I just wish they'd push the game until after break. That's all. If we quit now, all this work will be for nothing. Hours hiding out in the turtle and hunkering down in a dorm room playing video games. Wasted. It was wasted, was it? It was fun, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't sound sincere. What do the two of us have in common besides the game? Oh, well, I feel like we get along pretty. This is really interesting. I'm sorry. Sure we do, dude. I'm just saying. You're right. We started this thing, so we should finish it. <sighs> That's my boy. We know who's the boss there. <laughs> Legends keep book. up my shenanigans, and they'll have to add Max Caulfield to the list. <laughs> the spooky stories of cryptid creatures of the lake in Champlain. <laughs> Funny. Should we talk to Diamond? I talked to him. Did you know? No what? Why Vin lied in that statement? No. He was like 
hurt. But he did step down, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll I remember that. President Diamond, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you something without thinking through the consequences. I mean... I wasn't trying to stop you. First act as president of a breakfast? Breaking the news to the Vinions, I guess. Ugh. There's gonna be tears. <laughs> see you around, Max. Yeah, see ya, Diamond. But yeah, that felt really bad, honestly. <laughs> now that I remember what we did. Maybe we can find Vin now? Is he here? Whoa, security guard. It's that security guy who's been lurking all over campus. Is he looking at classes? Weird. This is the admin building, right? Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Ooh, what, what was that? Snapshot! Ooh! Say cheese, shot. little guy. Oh my god, that's adorable! <laughs> Post, oh my god. Prickly exterior, yet secretly vulnerable. Are you trying to tell us something, Vin? <laughs> okay. Well, what are our other objectives? Find information about Maya. That's probably through Vin. Maybe this way? No, not that way. Okay, um... It is the dead world too, so... Positive. Well, uh, wrong button! <laughs> What happened now? Nothing, okay. <sighs> Restrooms and North Quad. Yeah, because we've talked to Gwen and stuff. Um, I am so confused. There's Vin. Yeah, we, we snooped in there. Well, it's okay, we fixed the grade. Hmm. It said, talk to Vin in the admin building. But, but where? It's just those places. It's. Huh? Oh, here it is! What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Okay, find the lock. Oh, are we here? Try lock. Doesn't fit. Oh. Okay, um. This cabinet? Nope. No, okay, uh. Typewriter? Yeah, it must be! Because you wouldn't think of um, the tried typewriter. Yes! Whoa, what's this? That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. A million miles beneath my feet, something less pointed, more metaphor. In that city, the beast rose and stared into me. It, it became me. I had always been the beast. But that was later. Now I was trembling, freezing cold in a January morning. I took a step toward a moving truck, glanced back at the people gathering in the curb, and instantly understood that it felt like it had to drown. My parents were looking at each other, and the Abassan was... Uh, looking at the ground. An outsider might see this as a uh, obstinance, disapproval at my departure, but I knew they'd been crying and they didn't want me to see. These people own my soul. I thought uh, separating from them uh, was like trying to breathe water. All I could do was uh, trash. Was thrash, <laughs> sorry. 18 is too young. Hana is only a little girl. Abbasan said over the dining 
over the dinner the night before, talking about me like I wasn't there. She's American, so my father, like, and yeah, that explained it. We're all American now. All of us except my brother Kaido. He had his job in Tokyo. Not the, even the wild horses could drag him from Japan. Those same wild horses that took me from my only home I had ever known across the 200 miles of highway to a city with a beast at its center. Where inside that labyrinth, the people who owned my soul and would, have, would have it torn away from them. This notion of displacement uh, would translate no matter the country. I don't understand, but okay. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Wait a minute, what? No. No, 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 no. Holy shit. It's the same. No way! Lucas stole Maya's book? The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been a beast, but that was later. Now I was trembling, freezing cold on a January morning. I, I took a step uh, toward a moving truck and instantly understood that it felt like the ground. My parents were looking at each other and Abuelita was looking at the ground. An outsider might see this as obstinance and disapproval of my departure, but I knew they'd been crying and they didn't want me to see. These people own my soul, I thought. Separating from them was like trying to breathe wa water. All I could do was thrash. 18 is young. Carolina is only a girl. Abuelita uh, said over, over dinner the night before, but, uh, talking about me like I wasn't there. She's American, said my father, like it explained it. We're all American now. All of us except my uh, other, older brother, David. He had his job in Santiago. Not even wild horses could drag him from Chile. Those same wild horses that took me from the only home I had ever known across 200 miles of highway to the city with a beast at its center. This notion of displacement it would translate them out of the country. Yeah, but... Huh. So, he stole her book. Is that it, or is it the other way around? Because I think it makes more sense that it's Lucas Colmanero who did it. Finn was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. Yeah, okay, so he did steal her book. Read all staff books. Cool. This Page is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Yeah. Whew. Time to talk to her and figure this out. Oh! Sophie, hey. What's wrong? Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Um, what's happening? Safi? Is something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to oh, you. Oh, no. Safi, are... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. Yeah. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case... What's your good reason, Max? I'm scared. I'm trying to help you. I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Oh, no, no, no. Not me, not me. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. <sighs> Maybe a long while. Safi Then did you snitch? <sighs> oh, this is so weird. I'm so invested in this. Hey, the sun is back. <laughs> Covered in blood. <laughs> Perfect. What's going on? I 
spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. But now... At least, I think I did. It's different now. Joyce still treats Aww. me like her second daughter. Even after... Everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. Yeah. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. What kind of company? <laughs> I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrow. Sorry, Max, um, you have a new journal entry I need to read. <laughs> I love this. December 7th. There are a lot of creeps in the world, and Lucas Colmero is one of them. He acts like he's dignified, but he's a user. Jefferson was an old charmer, too, until he wasn't. No matter how kind he acts, what he did was an abuse of power, and Maya's dead because of it. I just saw the snake. That's so cool. She's been really... She's really good at drawing. Who knows what Lucas is capable of? I feel sorry for Robbie to have such an asshole for a dad. I feel sorry for Sophie too. So many people failed her, including me. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, speak to Amanda in Living World, speak to Ben in Dead World, leave the bar in Living World. Okay. Understood? So you can't... Why? I, I don't want notifications. Okay, well, we're in the living world. Oh, any idea what you're gonna do? Do? I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> well. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Yeah. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! Oh. What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. Yeah, she's in love with Moses. That's right. And Moses is taken. <laughs> you ever have a thing for the wrong person? Who hasn't? Show me someone. I cannot me. hear anything. <laughs> I'll show you a liar. <laughs> okay, that music is really loud. <laughs> oh my god. Um, maybe like this. Apply. Whatever that saying goes. I don't think it helped. Nice <laughs> I'm just gonna. This didn't help. What about. No, okay. Let's just brace ourselves. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move wow, no, on. It's loud. <laughs> right, I just. I haven't felt this way with anyone, ever. What's happening? <laughs> it turns higher and higher. Um, give it time. Give yourself some time. <laughs> Life has a way of surprising us. What? I really hope you're right. Oh my God! Where can I turn uh, off the music? <laughs> this is work all over again. Oh, we can sit. Let's sit. Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? You stay the fuck away from me. I think you should leave me uh, alone for a while. Maybe a long while. Yeah. What Lucas did to Maya was deplorable. I can only imagine how painful that was for Sophie. Yeah, no wonder Sophie hate, hated and him. I poked at that pain like a kid with a stick. Oh, give me some. Maybe I should have told her the truth. I think I kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I thought things would be different here. I hope Sophie doesn't hate me for too long. Me too. Everyone in this town hates us. 
<laughs> and I don't like that. <laughs> okay, um... Polaroid! As a punk pink concert. You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. Aww. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max journal? Hot, definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. <laughs> I like that she can still hear the pictures, really. That's cool. Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. Yeah. Wanna swap places? What's it? Hi, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. We just keep meeting like this. Yep. Guess we've both had bad days. <laughs> you have a disciplinary hearing tomorrow, too? No, but everyone Did I meet hates me. Into it with Yasmin. She lied to my face. Oh, to your face? She must really like you. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. You want my input? Yeah. Cut me on. Caledon is shiny. Trust me. It's a dark man. Understood. <laughs> I like that Gwen can still joke around. What? Crazy. Hey, it does again! Imagine playing the assassin by leveraging a thief's overactive bladder against me. <laughs> we can suck it. We're still in this. Oh my god, can we ask it, Amanda to turn it off? <laughs> the music is way too loud. Oh, oh my god. Okay, let's just. Um... Um, let's do this. Check it out. If that helped. Yes. Ooh, sport. Why doesn't... <laughs> okay. Let's just be death. I'm just gonna... Oh. Let's just be... Not hear anything. Cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Yeah. Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. Finals week, isn't it? Hmm? No one that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Yeah! Or, uh, Rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste. Let's go with grandma. <laughs> grandma's liquor. You know me. If it's not cloyingly sweet, I can't drink it. Have you ever tried a Maro? No. It's this sweet liqueur. It tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. feeling now like like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom yeah but then I realize I'm still falling <sighs> yeah it's deep you are such a disaster <laughs> <laughs> you're such a disaster I have a type You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Aww, thanks, Amanda. You won't get in trouble? Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? Yeah. 
What do you say we have that date now? <gasps> oh, date? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. Uh-huh. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. Aww. I guess. That's nice. Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Oh! <laughs> okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows Ooh. in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place Why? is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Granite Joe? Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his- Oh, I love the lighting. <laughs> and do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> up and pass it back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. Aww. You now have one blunt. Okay. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? <laughs> Let's check it out. Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> oh! This is a key. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. Like the game? Ooh! And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Cool. What's that? Let's thrash. Let's thrash. Shuckle bra. <laughs> okay. Sore. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> and throw ourselves into the crowd. Yes! <laughs> Fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. I <sighs> <sighs> only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. Ooh. She sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <gasps> Run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? She'll be very cold! Oops. Yes, I do. <laughs> I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Uh, so what? Only that the singer, the sheep. Stone cold dead on the floor. What? But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. <laughs> that was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Yeah. Told you'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see. Me. One half smoked oh. blunt. An ice pack? From moshing. And an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> this is a successful night. <laughs> if that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild thing. made me feel like, I don't know, 
What? Maybe tomorrow my existence will be things worse for everyone around me. Yeah. Whoop! <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? You keep saying that about your day. Yeah, she's being <laughs> a little scared now. Everything! <laughs> we ruined everything! Why are you so nice to me? Why? I'm doing it again. What? The therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey, I have never made a girl cry on a first date before, and I don't want to start now. <laughs> okay, good. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Unavailable? Yeah, it's you. I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane <laughs> that's perfect oh are they gonna no oh come on sorry did i do something wrong no um no. i really really want to kiss you um but it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me, and I need to know I'm not just projecting. Oh, okay. Is this a choice? So, you kiss me first. <gasps> oh, shit! I, oh, oh my god, oh, okay, dude. We can't throw away! Kiss Amanda! Come I'm on! Sucker for a good dare. Yeah! That's how you kiss Chloe! A dare! Mm. So let's do it! I'm also very polite. <laughs> it's so corny! Are you trying to break me? Yes, that's our goal today. <laughs> Come on! Do yes, it! Caulfield, you are the Worse. Yep, we've talked about it the entire day. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> Come on! Yes! <laughs> You're kissing a zombie! <laughs> I've warmed up her makeup now. <laughs> When do you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? Yes! Before you, you go, go wait! <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. Yes. <laughs> I'm a very smart woman. God damn. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now. I. No, I have to get back to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was adorable. I loved it. <laughs> Oh, that was incredible. Oh my god. Okay, um, <laughs> next thing on our list. <laughs> oh, what's this? Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. Oh, you can't be a bard. Oh, because we already have a bard. <laughs> hmm. Must be game night. 
bed in two sessions. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't you just make the campaign easier if two people want to be bards? <laughs> <laughs> campaign easier? Yeah. The game oh. the players, right? Love Dungeons and Dragons. It's fun. Don't have a lot of experience with it though. Oh, Reggie! 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 His name is. Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth. Well, that's good, but still bad. Reggie. I know, I'm not doing good. Max, I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Hmm. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. Yeah. It's not the only thing, though. What? When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Oh, but it didn't. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. You're not. And maybe, maybe they're right. No, they're not right. You're not a fuck up. Reggie, you're funny. Genuine. <laughs> I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. We mean this it. This is one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Of course. Hold on to that, okay? It'll be okay, Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> no promise. Okay, there's Vin. That's our next um, projecting. <laughs> I don't remember the word. What's that? Krampus flyer. Is it really cancel. a good yeah. idea to cancel this? Now everybody just gets to sit at home with their feelings. Hmm. I understand it's for it's to show respect, but yeah, they need something else to talk to think about. <laughs> and look, still don't feel shitty enough to drink beer. <laughs> That's good. Let's talk to Amanda again. Hey, Damn, it's yourself. Okay. how are we feeling? He's all Moses. Oh, I made pasta you know, for him since he was. I'm crazy. upright. Oh, lucky guy. Take, Take it easy, okay? Yeah. Uh, and he wrote me this sweet note. Hi, Ben. Just <laughs> gliding in. Probably too often. Join me? Help yourself. <laughs> I need it, okay? Bothering well, that's everyone. true, though. But <laughs> My colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. <laughs> Toffee used to get pissed at me, too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. Aww. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. <laughs> I mean, um. Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Yeah. Oh. Well, I should have told you. Nah, it's okay. If you don't want to, it's your deal, not mine. There's been a lot going on, and it's not like we're besties or anything. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't her boyfriend. Or anything, and it ended a while ago. But okay. I, 
guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. <laughs> we liked her, huh? Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? Um, yeah, but should we bring that up? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Say that while we drink. Just joking. And I know what you did after she died. Hey, I don't blame you. I was young. At least I don't. I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does I get, the understand. Version of you ever feel like I don't know, an alien? Like the shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them. I get it. That sounds like a shitty spot to be in, especially right out of undergrad. Yeah. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, at health insured, even fucking 401 k would What does that mean? <laughs> All I have to do is talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. <laughs> You made yourself right at home. Yep. I blame Vin. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> the, the wave. <laughs> oh. You hitting that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean. Yes and no. <laughs> talking. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of whack. She's probably right. <laughs> She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, <laughs> I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. <laughs> Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy. The telescopes. <laughs> Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. Which <laughs> was weirdly hot. <laughs> Oh my god. You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. Well, this would be extremely friendly. Most smash. I don't know. Oh, I can't pass on my friend. I can't smash. Okay, fine. I admit it. My friend Moses is an extremely handsome man. I'll drink that. I love it. <laughs> I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable facts. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Ooh. When? Oh, she hates me. Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't feel like Gwen is my type. Mostly because she is married, but... <laughs> And Moses does have a boyfriend, but he's my friend. Oh, oh my god, I don't know, I don't know, oh my god. Um, pass a smash on Gwen. I like Gwen. She's cool. Well, she doesn't hate me. Which is in this timeline, so it's weird. Oh, it's so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Gwen, um... Pass. I'm gonna pass. She has a wife! So yeah! A lot of people. Don't 
Thank you, Max. <laughs> Professor Coleman. No. No. He sucks. Does yeah. he now? Yeah. You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or pass? <laughs> That's a hard pass. <laughs> pass. He's a dick. <laughs> yeah. And yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> Hold up. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship. <laughs> two and a half kids. <laughs> two and a half kids? What? Marry them. Just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes, me. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's just unfair. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I am on the authority figures. Ooh. <laughs> really? I would not have pegged you for the time. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could have just let it lie there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, that's hilarious. <laughs> Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both know? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. She well, can't think about that I <laughs> with them. One. At Caledon and two. Not. Oh no! <laughs> Standards. Come on. <laughs> so, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Oh my god! Yes, then! No, 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 no. I am not doing that, okay? I just need to be sure that. I am not kissing Ben. No, 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 no. Don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> no, no worries. No hard feelings. That's the smasher pass rule. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so. Mm. Thank you. Just two buddies, right? Good night, then. <laughs> when you started gliding towards her, I was like, no, 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 no. We just had our first kiss with Amanda. Sophie's cooled off and is trying to reach me. Yeah. Okay, let's go over. Let's just check. We don't have any messages. Okay. I'm really glad she <laughs> pressed the button there that it did not involve her students. <laughs> Nothing from Sophie. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. Yeah, we need to look at Iris. Oh, we got a message from Ben. What, um... Um... Yo, Max, we're cool, right? I mean, I know we are, but, like, we are, right? Oh, sure, Ben, we're downright frosty. Right, that's what I thought. And you won't tell anyone about me and Sophia. Not that I mind, it's just, you know, other people might mind. It's an unlocking key for Safi's sake. Cool. Right, thanks, Max. Okay. Whew. Let's leave. What was that? What? What? Come on, give me it! Give me it! Give me it! I want the achievement! Where is it? Oh, I didn't see it. I love achievements. <laughs> Oh no! Someone broke in. What yeah, the hell? now you saw it. Oh no! Oh no! 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 We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Yeah.
Oh, they steal our secrets or anything? What? Iris, are you okay? It's the cat. What's happening? Whoever was here really- Ooh, I got a message from Amanda! Oh, okay. Where did it come from? Um... Hey, sorry if I was a little hard on you, just don't be a stranger, okay? So, are we okay? Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay, okay. Max, I just found out a revenge horse is coming in the spring if you want to go IRL. I'd love to, but... What? That sounds great, but I'm kind of dealing with something at the moment. Let me get back to you. Sure, are you okay? Yeah, I'm nothing I can't handle. Yeah, just someone broke in. What are they saying here? Okay, I can't believe that on top of everything else, Amanda is also an incredible kisser. I mean, if she wasn't, I didn't understand, but... Damn! Is she perfect? Okay, calm down, Max. Nobody is perfect, but... Could she be perfect for me? <laughs> After all my fucked up shit, don't deserve a little happiness. And I feel that uh, when I'm with her, I forget everything about but us when she's looking at me. I still can't stop thinking about her. Yeah, but oh, it's too good to be true, right? I, oh, I think I think Amanda is involved we with the killer. this place up. What were they looking for? There goes my security deposit. Oh, that's sad. Memories box. No, 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 no! All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? This is so weird. It must be someone who knows she's investigating. <gasps> They're still here? Uh huh. Um. Mm hmm. Fuck. I think they just went into the dark room. <laughs> the dark room? Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 okay, and did I... <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Iris! It's okay, girl. Ooh. Oh, no. You're scared. It'll be okay, Iris. Snapshot. Iris? Say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but... You're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say meow. The cat can finally look down upon me as nature intended. <laughs> hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? Yeah. She must have. <laughs> wow. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Come on. Jump. I'll catch you. Yeah? Oh, okay. Wait, is it the older Max? You stay up there then. Is it the older Max, the one that shot Sophie? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I think so. First Chloe, and now Sophie. It feels like everywhere I go, somebody gets hurt. Oh no, 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 no. I feel like it's... You know what? Let's try to... Oh, wait. Let's go upstairs first. Just because I'm curious. Whoa, they've been here too. Fuck, Chloe's Chloe. photo? You are always the brave one. Okay. 
We don't need to change our clothes now, it's weird. Let's try to go down well in this world. Let me see. Yeah, hi, girly. Can we go down well now? Yes, we can. It is us! Shit! Shit! It is the other Max! There you are, asshole. Show me your face. That's me. What? Yes, I knew it as soon as Iris hissed at us. It must have. I knew it. Okay, let's figure this out. Okay, okay. Now that we're checked without it being dangerous, let's do this now. Because how are there really two Maxes? Everybody knows that bad shit happens in basements. Yep. And you scared my cat! We can't have that happen! Okay, Max. Let's talk to the other Max. You're in green, just like the night Sophie died. You're busted. Turn the fuck around. Slowly. Hey there, Max. Now explain all of this. You weren't supposed to be home. What? Why wouldn't I be home? <gasps> Wait! I don't really want to touch her either because. Because of what happened to Alderman. Why weren't we supposed to be home? What's happening? Oh! Now the fake Max has a um, has a wound. Oh shit! Damn it! That's so weird. Now how do I get across? Uh. Uh, by altering shifting okay let's go over come on Max careful careful it would be like Alex <laughs> trapped down there okay Whew. No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Okay, she went this way. Shit, how do I know which way? This way. Okay, looks like... Yep. Oh, she's right there! Okay, we're still on the track. Where is she? Over here. Hope I haven't lost her. 
Oh no, she you're all right on top of her. It's okay, Max. Let's take Max. Oh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Whoa. Wait, what? I almost got her. Oh, it's a wolf mask. Look. Now, where are you? Being eating? What does that mean? What the? Max, stop it! Stop! For fuck's sake, just stop! All right, you caught me. Now what? She talks differently. Now what? She's not Max. It is it a shape sh shape sh shape sh shape shifter? Are you here about Safi? Are you here to help me with Safi? Safi? God, Max, you're standing here looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Safi. Well, yeah? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What? All that stuff. In your dark room? About Lucas? About Finn? About Gwen? Shit, you have no reason to- Whoa, 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 to whoa. she cornered us now! <sighs> Don't you care about it? Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. What is up with this, Max? Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. Oh, shit! No! Oh. Yeah, this is the Max. This is a completely different person. I know it. I know it. She pretends she is us. If not, they were both have not existed now. Yep, you're alive. Hey, Fakey! She's a murderer. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, now talk! If not, we're gonna push it back in. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, I hate eyes! No, 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 no. Yeah, you can shift into safety. Wait, oh, that's right! Whoa! You were around it, I think, or shifted it or something. That was cool. Yes! What the fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. Chloe? Or is it? No, 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 no. What's happening? Is it Chloe? Is it Chloe? Please, 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 please. No, no. No, Sophie? What? What? How? What? 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 Oh my god! This was amazing. Oh my god. God! Oh my god! Wow! Okay, I did not expect that to be saucy. How? She's- she's dead. 
Jesus, and oh my... Wow, I can't wait to play the rest of this game. <laughs> it always goes to shit in the episode 3. That's where things really pick up. Okay, Moses. Try to save Alderman. 95% did hang on to him. Moses is relieved you're safe. Yeah. Yasmin, call out the living world Yasmin's lie or go with it. Most of the people um, went with it. Yasmin trusts you as an ally. That's good. Amanda, kiss living world uh, Amanda. 72% did kiss Amanda. 9% uh, pulled away. And 19% didn't get an opportunity. Amanda is thrilled with the kiss, but she wants to take it slow. That's completely fine. I'm with it. I'm totally with her there. Vin, kiss dead, dead world of Vin. 30% did kiss, 51% passed, and 90% didn't talk to her. Vin is a little let down. Aww. I understand why. Moses' anime phrase. <laughs> Max got Moses' anime phrase correct. 8% <laughs> didn't. Promise Moses. Max promised Moses she would tell Safi to stay safe. Yeah, 86% did that. Wrong timeline, Loretta. Oh no. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> For the six percent, mixed her, mixed up Loretta's. Yes. Phone guys, if uh, great. Max changed the phone guys. Great. Yeah. You deserve it. Thank you. Phone project installation. One percent. Uh, Max talked to the future. At the phone art project. Yeah, I was gonna do that, I remember it, but some I, I got sad, sidetracked because of that cutscene, I think. So, we did not talk to the future or hear from the past at the, tele, at the phone art project. That would be fun, I wonder what that looks like. Giving Vin a secret. Max told Vin she knew about him and Sophie's relationship. <clears throat> Sorry. And Max told Vin that Lucas wanted a restraining order against Sophie, and Max told Vin that Gwen was framed for dealing drugs. Ah, oh, okay. Feeding Diamond Info. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. <coughs> I'm sorry. Max's drink of choice. <laughs> Max ordered something sweet from Amanda. 62% did the strong one. Funny. Snapping turtle moment of reflection. We did do that. Most people did. Max would smash one of her colleagues. <laughs> in smash him or pass. Okay, so I did that with one, and that was Moses. Then there are some. And then all. 2% did all. Um, and then there is a passing, and she did not play smash or pass. Prevent tours contest, concert. Sorry. Grease Trap survived her crowd surfing adventure. Grease Trap uh, perished while crowd surfing. <laughs> That's funny. Most people got that one. Intruder alert. Max found the intruder using only her powers. Max found the intruder using only clues. Max found the intruder using powers and clues. Ah, so that was me. 21%. Oh, but wow. That was amazing. Ooh, I love it. Oh no, this game is amazing. So far, at least. <laughs> it's really good. I love it. I'm really invested now. I need to, I need to check on poor Iris. No wonder she was so... busy now, <laughs> honestly. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and honestly, I'll see you next time if you like this one. If not, I'll play it, post it, and no one watches it. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.